Hyundai H1 or Star X, the names are different, but the essence is the same. A solid South Korean minibus is popular with us to a certain extent. Today it's time to find out the real reasons for his success in the secondary. The start of production of the second generation of the model was in South Korea in 2007. Grand Star X, this is how the car was christened at home, and it came to us and to Europe under the name H1. In 2012, the minivan, and in our opinion a typical minibus, went through a restyling. It is worth recognizing that most of the buses that came to Ukraine arrived by an unofficial route, no longer new, getting, of course, immediately to the secondary market. And here the real hunt is open for them. The main difficulty of this hunt is to intercept the least used car with more or less sane mileage. Real mileage on the odometer is rare for Star X. And it seems that it was not only our suppliers and resellers who twisted it, but also Korean ones. But even with the disguised mileage, such a purchase made sense. The machine attracts with its simplicity of design and high maintainability. Bearing body, longitudinally mounted engine and rear wheel drive, in 2013, a version with 4WD appeared. Of the bodies, with unchanged dimensions, there were a three-seater van, a six-seater station wagon and a passenger minibus with 8 ninths or 11 12 seats, only Grand Star X. The most common was a 2.5 turbo diesel with a boost of 136 and 170 horsepower. There is also a 2.4 liter gasoline aspirated in the line, but we cannot find such ones. Let's make a reservation right away. There are many cases when motors traveled up to 500,000 km without overhaul. However, problems do happen to them. So, after 200,000 km, one of the three timing chains can stretch. Its replacement can cost 15,000 Ukrainian hryvni. With work. During such a replacement, it is worth checking the balance shaft, it often breaks the block, and the ladder has to be changed. But if the wear is small, you can get rid of the replacement of the sleeve. You can wait for a turbine failure, repair from 12,000 Ukrainian hryvni, starting from a run of 150,000 km. But as a rule, this happens much later. Among the transmissions are very strong 5 or 6 speed manual gearboxes or 4 or 5 speed automatics. Under the Korean marking, the almost immortal Japanese Jatko JR507 e works here, which, when renewing the lubricant every 50,000 km, often nurses more than 300,000 without overhaul. The clutch on the manual gearbox walks up to 200,000. Problems, rather, should be expected from the body. Cars in Korea are not spoiled with additional anti-corrosive. First of all, the lower edges of the side doors rot. A little later, the fifth door joins them. There are pockets of corrosion under the bottom, but on the running it's not so bad. Replacement intervals here are much higher than average, 100 to 150,000 km, if measured by cars. But the prices for components are moderate, it is difficult to get burned. As, however, and with the electrician, the machine is relatively simple and has a fair margin of safety. So, of the chronic diseases here, only a number of characteristic problems in the cabin can be mentioned. To put it bluntly, it does not shine with special quality and premium. Therefore, premature wear of seats and finishing materials is in the order of things. In a word, prepare 350 to 400,000. It is very difficult to buy a jumpy Star X, H1 cheaper. After 150 to 200,000 km, the cross and the card and outboard bearing require attention. Repair with balancing will cost up to 6,000 Ukrainian hryvni. In the automatic transmission, according to tradition, the torque converter, friction clutches, gaskets and seals wear out. Repair after 100,000 will correct the situation. Alas, the solenoids float a little earlier. The automatic transmission may operate intermittently due to oxidation of the contacts on the control board or due to damage to the wiring. Glow plugs stick to diesels, when replacing them, it is better to soak them. Otherwise, they can break off, which leads to problems up to the removal of the blockhead. Often the plastic valve cover cracks, 2000 Ukrainian hryvni. The intercooler, 7000 Ukrainian hryvni, needs to be replaced every 150 to 200,000 km. On long runs, the oil receiver is clogged with sludge. As a result, the motor lacks lubrication, in addition to the turbine, the crankshaft liners and camshaft beds wear out. Silent blocks of the front levers and ball joints require replacement by 150,000 km. Next, the front wheel bearings may hum. They are replaced complete with a hub, from 1500 UA. The front springs on the second 100,000 run sometimes break, from 2000 Ukrainian hryvni. At the rear, you usually have to change only shock absorbers, from 1200 UA, and sagging springs. Replacing an knocking steering rack, from 8000 Ukrainian hryvni, 
may be required at the 150,000 run. By 200,000 km, the sliding door rollers wear out. Body iron for the most part is indifferent to corrosion, except for the lower edge of the driver's door. If the car is 5 years old, and the door is in order, then the door was painted. Pipes corrode under the bottom. They are changed after 5 years. For example, a set of pipes for the rear heater costs 2,500 Ukrainian hryvni, and an air conditioner costs 5,000 Ukrainian hryvni. Star X, H1, has several modifications. Those that are simpler have a leather and interior and a minimum of options. Those that are richer have genuine leather seats, steering wheels, two hatches. In the first category, the driver's seat is torn strictly to 60,000 km. In the second, due to the skin, the seat lasts longer, but not more than 100 to 120,000 km. So a fresh chair will indicate its constriction.